Thanks, Nick. Um, so as Nick said, I'm going to be running through how to uh, get your team up, up and running um, using the Rapid Board uh, with a Scrum preset. So here we see the Rapid Board in full flight, um, but we're going to create a new one for our team. So just go to Tools and create a new board. So we get some presets. Uh, we can choose Kanban and Scrum. Um, with Scrum, the swim lanes will be by story. Um, our estimation statistic will be story points. And we get a number of quick filters, which I'm going to talk about later. So we'll select Scrum. We get to name our board. I'm going to call it Summit. And because this team uh, works on multiple JIRA projects, we're going to add both of those here. So the, the Rapid Board's a cross project. So once we create our board, we're taken to the plan mode. And this is where we're obviously going to do our planning. Um, on the left-hand side, you see all the issues listed. And this is our product backlog. If we click on an issue key, we get a detail view on the right-hand side. And this is where we show all the most important things for your Agile cards. In the header area, you can see the summary and the estimation statistic. And these are inline editable. And below that, we've grouped the other information in tabs. Here you can see the description tab. And next to that, comments. And we can add one. Um, you can use keyboard shortcuts for this. Uh, M is the, sh the keyboard shortcut for comment. We also show attachments in the detail view. And these could be screenshots, or they could be any other kind of file, um, zips, jars, whatever. And also, it's the best place to manage our subtasks. So here we can see there's a couple, but we'll add another. And we just use the quick create there, which is provided by Jira. And there we have it. So in Greenhopper, the best way to prioritize your backlog is just uh, move issues up and down using drag and drop. And then we can get our order, our, our backlog into the priority we want. If we need to move more than one issue at the same time, we just use shift click or control click the same way you would on the desktop. And they all move together. I've got one issue here that doesn't have an estimate, so we're just going to select that and go over here and enter that estimate. As I said before, it's inline edit for this. It's now updated. So the backlog is starting to look nicely prioritized. But we need to get an idea what the team uh, can commit to for this sprint. And we do that by dragging the sprint marker up and down. And you'll see there's a real-time update, the number of issues in there, and the estimation statistic too. We can also move an issue above the sprint marker and drag it into our planned sprint. And if we need to find a specific issue, we can use this instant filter here. We just type in some text, or it could be an issue key. And that immediately filters the list down just to show those. So there's the issue I wanted. I'm going to drag that into our plan sprint too. And clearing the filter will show the previous, uh, the full backlog again. So next to the instant filter, we have quick filters. The two that you see here are the presets that I mentioned earlier. So you have one to just show your issues, and another one for issues that were recently updated, that is, in this case, um, edited within the last day. Our quick filters are extremely powerful as they're, they're built on Jira's query language, JQL. And with the rapid board, so I'll just, just uncheck that. With the rapid board, you can add as many of these as you like. So in the configuration area, you can add as many of them and drag the order so that the buttons are from left to right. And if you know JQL, then the possibilities here are uh, unlimited. We're just going to add a simple one that just shows bugs. So that could be issue type or type equals bug. And we'll see back on the board, we can see that's now listed on the left-hand side. So if we click this, our backlog is reduced just to show the bugs. And I can see the one I want there. So I'm going to drag it into our planned sprint. And clicking the quick filter again just brings back the whole list. So 
So the team's now happy to commit to this uh, amount of work, so we're going to start the sprint. We get to name the sprint. Um, this also has some logic to try and capture the naming convention that you're using. And you can change the start and end date. The default is two weeks. So our sprint has now been created, and we'll go and look at that in work mode. So work mode might look familiar to those of you that have seen the previous task board. Um, basically, the, the states or transitions are shown in columns. And we can see all of our issues awaiting us in the to-do column on the left-hand side. Green offer again, you just drag and drop um, to transition these. So we just move that one into progress. And if we have multiple transitions, we get drop zones so that we can select the one that we, that we want. So you can see that the, um, the parent issue, which is the story, runs full width. And below it, we see the subtask for that issue. I'm just going to assign these two subtasks so that I can work on them. It's using the dot dialog, so you hit the, the dot key and you get a whole bunch of JIRA um, issue operations that you can choose from. And I'm just going to drag these into progress. So I want to show you what happens when you complete all of your subtasks for a story. So what we see is as we complete the last subtask, we're prompted to update the parent. And this is a great way to keep everything in sync. So in work mode, the detail view is also available, but in this, uh, in this mode, it's, it, you can open and close it, you can toggle it. And that's to save space um, if you have a lot of columns, but some teams prefer to leave it open all the time. And if you're a keyboard user, a uh, keyboard shortcut fan, the T key will toggle the detail view open and close for the selected issue. You can see that quick filters are also available here. Um, just using the bugs one, I can narrow that down to bugs, but you can get very creative with the JQL you use here. Uh, Green Offer team has a whole bunch of these, uh, some based on labels, some components, or combinations, just so that we can, uh, like bug fix triage, things like that. And clicking that, again, returns the full amount. So we have a number of reports available in the wrapper boards. Uh, for Scrum, in particular, we have the burn down and the sprint report. If you look at the burn down chart, you can see um, it's quite angular. And the reason for this is it's real time. As you hover over the burn down, you can see that there's, um, there's a tooltip for every event that happens in the sprint. In this case, we can see that this issue was completed and eight story points were burned down. We also see in the middle of the uh, burn down that the line goes up rapidly. And on investigation, we can see that that was scope change. In this case, 13 story points were added to the sprint bef um, after the agreement and the, and the start of it. And if you need more detail about what happened in the sprint, if you scroll down, each event is listed and exactly what happened is there. So no more arguments about, yes, it was in there when we started or not, because it's all down there in black and white. Another interesting report is the sprint report. So this one has a baby burn down at the top. And then below it, every um, issue that was part of that sprint, whether it was completed or not, is listed below with more detail. So I'm running out of time. I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up a wallboard. So we create a dashboard. And we get a gadget. In this case, we need the rapid board gadget. And we're going to show the name. And we're going to have it refresh every 15 minutes. Here we can see just the normal gadget. But with the Jira Warball plugin, you can get a high contrast mode for this. Sorry. 
get a high contrast mode, and you can display this on your information radiator. The Green Orbit team used this uh, in our development area for everyone to see the state. So I hope that got you up and running um, with the rapid boards for Scrum. And uh, that's it. I hope you go and try it. Thank you.